Now there's another thing that I did too, and I wish I had it to show you here, but I went over to her friends and I used it over in their garage. And it was a table, it was kind of like one of those tilty, tilted things. You kind of, it's tilted up like this and you kind of lean on there and stand on there. You put your feet in and then um, you, you get it up off the ground and you push it up and then you're kind of upside down and it takes all the weight off your back. I don't know what those are called, an elevated uh, table or whatever you want to call it. And you know, if you don't have something like that, maybe you know a friend who's got something um, or you might want to invest in it if you periodically have problems with your back. It's that thing I'm almost thinking, you know, hey, where could I put one of those? If I had room, where could I put it? The money's not going to be the object for me. It's going to be if I, if my back ever goes out again, I could use that anytime I wanted or even when my back's fine, it just takes the pressure off. You just lay there. Oh, it's pretty awesome. So if you get a chance to try one of those, do that too. Well, here's that inverter table I was telling you about, and I got just enough time to, to do this. I wanted to show this on the video. And so you put your feet in here, and then there's a little push button here that you can put it down, push on it, and lift it up. Well, if you're going to have a bad back, you might want this so that you can still pull your feet out. You know, you don't have to have it perfectly tight because <laughs> the first time I got in this thing, I couldn't then reach down to depress this and I couldn't get out. It was terrible. So don't let that happen to you. Okay, I'll, let you, I'll show you how this works right after this. Okay, so when you get in this, you just have to be careful, hang on to this, put your feet in there sideways, and then just lean back, and it goes back. You don't even have to really push on this very much. You can just pull your hands back like this, and it goes back. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. That feels good. It's off, all the weight is off of your back. You see all, all of your upper body is pulling off of your lower back. And you can sit here and you can just start sleeping or you can, or you can be flat like this. You know, that's right about here is where you start feeling that pressure come off of your back. Oh, it's wonderful. So if you have a bad back, you can get one of these inverter tables. I don't know how much they cost nowadays. Maybe you got a friend who's got one. Maybe you can borrow it and they can bring it over and put it in your garage or something or your spare room or whatever. You know, once you're down here, you can hold your arms back here and just go to sleep. And just don't concentrate on anything other than your breathing. You know, and feel it right there in your back. And you can do that for a half hour if you want or more, whatever. Then you've got to pull yourself up gently like this and see, if when you, you have a bad back, you're not even going to be able to raise up like that to get down to there. So you can be right here, scrunch down a little bit, slide your, your foot out, you know, and just be careful. Grab your little cane. I left that at home. <laughs> but you can use that and then gently get out of here, okay? Yeah, it works great. Hey, of course, not all backs are created equal. You may have something much worse than what I had, and you may need medical treatment. You might need to go to the chiropractor. You might need to do some drastic things. This, the things that I showed you may not be what you need, but for the majority of us out there, you try all this stuff first and see how well you feel, okay? I started feeling better in about five days. Now, I don't know how bad I tweaked it this time. It was bad enough for me to not be able to get out of bed and walk around like an old man. And I've had this happen to me, you know, four or five times throughout the years, maybe two or three times this last year, as a matter of fact, okay? Now, I'm ready for the next time, but I'm always going to be prepared. I'm always going to try to wear a back brace and to 
lift properly and not try to go overboard but every once in a while accidents happen and that's when you'll be ready to work on your back. Well, that's all I have for this time, but I'll be back with more 